Hello there. I'm Rick. Ciao, my Millie. <laughs> <laughs> Your name Millie. My name Rick. And my... this, everyone, is episode 53. 53. <laughs> of the season we've come to lovingly know as season two. Do it. Of the podcast yeah. that we, <laughs> we have always referred to as... Yonks ago. ago! I think I absolutely nailed that. I finessed. Are we getting better? Um, yeah. The answer is... Yeah. <laughs> this is yonks ago coming into your ears. Now, what are yonks? They're kind of like you. Just a father and a daughter who want to know all about some people from yonks ago. Interesting people who do interesting stuff, but about whom we don't know enough. So we're gonna dig deep and find it all out. Yonky doodlers know what we're all about. Yonks ago. Hey, ho. All right, we're off and running here. Well, technically, we're sitting down. We're off and sitting. Yeah. We're off and sitting here in the kitchen, Tuesday afternoon. Yes. And uh, we're rapidly running out of the Nancy Wake story. We have... Um, but are we like mad because Henri's not in it and I am depressed about uh, it? Well, we've still got a lot of other Henri's. That's, if there's anything <laughs> this story has, it's a surplus of Henri's. Um, we could afford to lose one, there's but it was probably... Everyone. The one we least wanted to lose. Definitely. Was on Rio G. Yeah. But Maximum the dog. business. The dog. Uh, the still. dog survived. Yeah. I had and ri- Anna Green Gable. I had written that dog off. Pecon. <laughs> I had written that dog <laughs> off for <laughs> dead. Pecon. And uh, I was good name. I was as surprised as anyone when that dog came yeah. bounding back into our story. <laughs> it's just chilling. <laughs> it's just yeah, just chilling somewhere. Or that dog did die and someone just bought a dog that looked the same. It's like, hey, yeah, Nancy, yeah. this is your dog. Yeah. And she's like, well, I do have very dim memories of what my dog yeah. looked like. It has been years. Actually, or as we say in this kitchen, yonks. Um, although if I actually looked at the timeline, it might have only been like six months since yeah. she left Messiah. It's only two days, mate. <laughs> it's a two, it was it's a really two-day adventure. <laughs> mate, she was riding a bike for two days. Yeah. It was longer than that. And the, and the rest was just a dream. <laughs> um, so quick, uh, I guess, a recap. Um, she bloody won. Um, yeah. France is free. Nancy's a hero. Um, her part in the war is over, even yeah. if the war isn't officially over. Yeah. The French part of it, they're done and dusted. And if I know anything exactly. about the French, if they're free, they don't give a yeah. crap. <laughs> they're like, oh. They're like, what war? Time to party. I'm, they're looking around. Because yeah. before the war started, they were looking around going, yeah. I don't know uh, anything. I'm it's, just going to din- go out. I'm going to go out tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's dinner party time. Yeah, yeah. There's a war on boredom. That's what yeah. they knew. Um, but as soon as it got into their country, they're, well, they're like, like oh, oh, I see. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. War's bad. Yeah. We don't like it. Yeah. Um, we better do something about it. Yeah. And now that they fixed it, they're like, well, Case closed. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy, go home. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but unlike the Ned Kelly story, which we did in season one, if you haven't listened to it, do yourself a favour. Yeah. Um, Nancy's story doesn't end at the climax, at the crescendo of no, the adventure. Whereas doesn't. Ned Kelly, although according to the Herald Sun <laughs> newspaper report, maybe his story also didn't end at the Definitely crescendo. Not. He died where he died. <laughs> it, it, it is what it is, okay? You don't be the que- judge. Don't question it, otherwise I'll be a mad. <laughs> Uh, but Nancy's story definitely does not end at the crescendo of her adventure. No. Um, um, like most stories, it goes on past the point yeah. of the happily ever after. Exactly. Uh, so we are at that point now, uh, which in this ch- is called the epilogue. So it yep. is an acknowledging that this is post climax of yep. adventure. Um, and so we want to find out what what does our Nancy wait? What get happens up to, to Nancy after the nonce? <laughs> um, <laughs> And so, as it happened, it was out of the question for Nancy to return and live in Mersai. Yeah, oh, not without Henri. Simply couldn't bear to be there without Fair Henri. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, gee. Where's she going to go? Uh, but she also didn't want to return to Australia. No, who'd, I mean, who'd want her? Uh, and so, she was like, what am I going to do with myself? Mm. And she was a little bit in that, you know, that <laughs> awkward period where yeah. she's like, I don't want to think about the war as the good old days, but yeah. she did feel like, at least during the war, she had a clear goal. Yeah, facts. Get rid of the Nazis. Yeah. Or at least 
cause as much mischief as I possibly Which can. Which she did. I mean, she did that. She checked that off the list. Tick. Yeah. But now what? Uh, exactly. That's what she's in. She's in yeah. the now what. She's in that bit where like you've, you've been you've you've been building up to something. You've been focused on something. Yeah. That something has been achieved. Uh, now what? Yeah. And luckily for her, sorry, I've just got to she, let me just get my facts straight before I commit. Now, what I neglected to uh, say in the last oh, episode what's happened? was she also, when she was in Mercer, she went to the bank where, I don't know if you remember way back when. Where Ned Kelly rubbed from. <laughs> oh, no, you've mixed up your stories. <laughs> um, no, the bank where Henri had kept a safe deposit box oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, for Nancy facts, facts, and facts. said, look, if anything yeah. ever happens to me or the world yeah. goes pear-shaped, Heaps of money here for you if yeah. you need. Because he did business. <laughs> here if you need. I've put some of my business money yeah. in this safe deposit box for you, Nancy, if you need. And she was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to use that one yeah. day. So she went to the bank to check her safety deposit box, yeah. but unfortunately discovered no. that because the Germans had been fair owning enough. that town, they had yeah. been what they'd been through the bank. Yeah, fair enough. And they did not respect the, the so signage. Dis- that is disrespectful. You know, there's things on the safety deposit box, do not open if you're not Nancy Wake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you're not Nancy Wake, get out. Yeah. Um the, the Germans either didn't bother reading it, weren't interested. Or they had someone called Nancy Wake. Or, or like something close enough. Yeah. You know? I wouldn't put like it. Like Nancy Bake. <laughs> Does that say Nancy Bake? <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm pretty sure that says Nancy Bake. You can open it, Nancy. <laughs> Get Nancy back in here. She, we've got a safety deposit box for her. And she was stoked. She was like, I cannot believe this. There's a lot of business money in here. I don't know where it came yeah. from. I don't know who it's from. But this is the this is a real uh, sh- injection in my in my finances. Ah, oh, what a great day to be Nancy Bake. <laughs> Uh, so that's probably what happened. Yeah, Nancy Wake missed out, but Nancy Bake, yeah. I imagine, went on to. I mean, tune in to episode. I mean, season five. For- you will not believe what Nancy Bake did with that startup capital. <laughs> uh, yeah, spoilers. Spent it on food and alcohol. As you, as you should, as Nan- you should. Anyone named Nancy and with the surname that rhymes with Ake. Yeah. Uh, likes to party and loves a dinner party especially. Yeah. And any money will be spent extensively on throwing awesome dinner parties. <laughs> um, so Nancy, realising that she had nothing left from yep. the Henri business endeavours. Disrespectful. Uh, she th- Priority number one for Nancy was, I need a job again. Yeah. Uh, but she wasn't sure what she wanted to do. And then out of the blue... Our mate Den Den came to see oh, her. Oh, we love Den Den. Den Den shows up with Hello, some Den. good news. He'd gotten a job in Paris oh. in the British Passport Control Office. There you go. And uh, he came along to Nancy and said, uh, Oi, Nancy, come with me. I'll get you a job. <laughs> That's how he sounds yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Come with me. I'll get you a job. <laughs> I'm working in Paris at the Passport Office. <laughs> Come along, Nancy. We'll, it'll be like old times, yeah. except much less war and much more admin. Yeah. It'll be awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, in short order, Nancy herself had got herself a job in Paris. That's good. She likes Paris. Yeah. Oh. I mean. <laughs> it's not Messiah, but it is in France. And yeah. she went to all that trouble of learning all the swear words yeah. in French. I mean, may as well stay local. Yes. <laughs> stay where your <laughs> swear words are. Um, oh. Useful. Yeah, useful is not the word. Yeah, I know. Mm. Uh, uh, relevant. Uh, That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that was the word I was looking for, but it'll definitely do in a pinch. All right, so she's set up in Paris, and then uh, one person that she saw regularly, 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 on the regulars. Um, who is it? Was Henri the second. Uh oh, uh oh, here comes trouble. <laughs> <laughs> she she does have an opening in her heart for an Henri. Um, but, wait, uh, who is – wait, I'm getting confused. Henri the second was the one that rescued her from the tree. And then like left and then came back. And then we didn't see for ages and then he showed up and later Henri as the, a leader of a Kelly gang. And Henri the third was also a leader of the Kelly gang but he like – we didn't, yeah. he didn't, she didn't stay there for long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was, he was a, just an adequate Henri. In my mind – both Henri second and third look the same. <laughs> yeah. They have the Twins. same face. Twins. I do not think of a different man. 
<laughs> they were twins whose parents gave them different surnames but the same first name. Yeah. In honour of the fact that they were identical twins. Yeah, as you should. <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to give them a different start in life but with yeah. a real solid anchor yeah. of the name Henri. Yeah. Um, so, she's bumping into Henri II a fair bit. In the final months of the war, Henri II had joined the suddenly reformed and revitalised French army – who were, who were pursuing the Germans back to their borders. Yeah. So the French army who'd been a little bit on the, uh, where are they? <laughs> Suddenly when the tide of the war had turned, they're like, oh, here we are. <laughs> French army represent. And they just do the final yeah. push of getting they're the Germans like, Oh, in. how good were we in the war? <laughs> Check us out. Yeah. Oh, the French army came to Bro, save the day. I, I'm, like if they didn't have the French army, like what would have happened? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Terribly, in the fighting at Belfort Gap, though, he had sustained a serious oh, injury no. to his left leg, causing... So did Joe Byrne. Causing its amputation. Oh, no. He lost his left leg. That's a, that's a bit disrespectful. But he had quickly made the best of his situation, classic Henri II. Oh, yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> After the Germans had finally surrendered, he had moved to Paris to begin a... Guess what he's... St- guess what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you were, an, if your name was Henri, what would you get involved in? Business. <laughs> That's what he he got involved in a career in business. Oh, says it right. Well, <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> he, he's he's learned from his ancestors. <laughs> uh, and he'd married his childhood sweetheart. Oh, gonna, he married his child. <laughs> no. That's a different story in which we do not like Henri II. <laughs> but where you marry a childhood sweetheart. That's cute. What's her name? Is it Celine? <laughs> doesn't say. It's Celine. It's Celine. So he married Celine Dion. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and together they had a little girl who Lucy. <laughs> they made Nancy their, her godmother. Oh, cute as. Oh, no, wait. Ah. Sorry, I misread that. I mean, Nancy was their godmother. That they called their little girl. They did call oh, her Nancy after her it's godmother. It's Nancy Bake. <laughs> it's Nancy Bake. She's already rich. That baby. <laughs> um, this was one of the proudest moments of Nancy's life. Of course, yeah. When Henri the Second made her the godmother of the beautiful baby that they named after her. That's cute. She's like, you know what? <laughs> I've had a pretty good positive inf- influence on people. Impact. <laughs> yeah. My impact on people's life is palpable. I mean. Yeah, I mean, true. People in France are having babies and calling them Nancy <laughs> because of this Australia's own Nancy Wake who dared to dream. Egypt- Egyptians. Isn't she from Egypt? <laughs> I mean, she's well-travelled. We all know that several countries. Yeah, she's countries, been everywhere. She's been everywhere. Several countries have a claim on yeah. our Australia's own Nancy Wake. Yeah, but we know the truth. <laughs> yeah, we know where she's from, as do all the Yonky Doodlers. <laughs> yeah. um, so Henri II went on to prove. <laughs> Egyptian side. <laughs> Sorry, oh, you're still, already thinking, thinking still, back fondly of, still makes of the, the highlights of season even, two. No, I didn't even notice. <laughs> uh, Henri the second, though, you'll yeah. be proud to know, went on to prove himself a great success in the world of business. I thought so, didn't I? Again, we've got no further information on what type of business. Clearly, Dad, it was business. Now, no, I it, mean, was, it was clearly business. it was business. <laughs> uh, I imagine he went and filled the vacancy that Henri OG. Oh. Had filled. I mean, all the business that he'd been doing yeah. was suddenly being not business. So like, what's going to happen? What's happened to all the business? Like, uh, I'm Henri. Uh, and what? <laughs> yeah, and everyone's like, we need someone called Henri to do this business. Yeah, and Henri the second went. I don't have a left leg, but I do have the name Henri. <laughs> so count me in. <laughs> Sign me up for whatever business you don't means need business a left, You don't need a left leg to do business. No, you not. just need to be called on re, and yeah. then you're good. <laughs> so if anyone out there is looking to get into business, yeah. probably. Don't focus so much on having two legs. No. Focus more on what your name is. Yeah. Henry's close enough as well. I mean, you won't do as well as Henri, no. but you'll do You'll do pretty good. You'll do yeah. better than the average folk. Yeah. Everyone will be like, Henry? I mean, <laughs> that's not right. a real business ring to no. it. We could work with it. Yeah. We can work with it. But if your name's Rick, oh. don't even try. Mate, <laughs> the amount of times I've showed up to do business <laughs> and people have just slammed the door in my face. Because I'm wearing the name tag. As they should. Like, I mean, think about think about it for a second. Like, really think about it. Maybe I – what if I change my name to on Rick? <laughs> <laughs> on Rick. I just added the on to the that start of it. That has a ring to it. That has it's a close. ring. Is it close enough? Is I, it, that is close enough. Like, if Henry's can get away with it, surely on Rick's can yeah. get away with it. You, you added, 
like Henri yeah. and Henry, you just switched out a letter, but with yours, you just added one. Yeah. So that's like the same thing. I'm pretty close to being yeah. successful in business. Yeah. Just by having this little or you brainstorm. Can just call you, and, and then people can just like call you on, on, on Henri K. You know? Henri K. Henri K. Henri K. Henri K. Iglesias. <laughs> That could be my new business name. <laughs> I mean, you might do well. <laughs> um, so this might be the last episode we do of podcasting now that I'm going to be very busy, yeah. busy doing business. Uh, so apologies to anyone who feels uh, left out of my new career path. Yeah, just change your name to Henri and you can do the same. Maybe if I alternate, maybe on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, I'm Henri. I'm Henri K. Yeah. Uh, and Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm Rick. And the weekends. And the weekends. Nobody. Um, just, don't call me. All right? <laughs> you don't know. You don't know him. I'm not available. <laughs> I'm unavailable for for calls and, and correspondence. <laughs> Nancy would approve. <laughs> um. So where were we? We're, look, we we found out that uh, Henri the Second is doing business. Yeah, as he should. He was able to employ a doorkeeper at his office block for well <laughs> over three decades. Just so you know how well he was going. What, what's his name? Uh, it was a man who was now so singularly <laughs> devoted to Henri II. Oh, bless. Uh, as he had once been to Nancy. Oh, it was the same doorkeeper. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, Henri II employed Nancy's old doorkeeper. <laughs> Keep it in the business. Uh, and another person who Nancy saw a lot of during this time in Paris. Michelin. You know that. Ah, I know. I know my Nancy. <laughs> Michelin. How old is she now? She's She's got to be a full adult. She'd settled in Paris with her husband. I, I mean, she's not going to last long. She's an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> she started young, but maybe she's just like... that's. She does have a child. Uh, Remember she had a kid? Yeah. With, with um, what's his face? The yeah. Scottish. Because Scottish. <laughs> what's, his, what's his name? Our, Patrick. <laughs> our Irish. Is it Patrick? Our Irish is it... Canadian Irishman. Oh, is he Canadian? <laughs> uh, or... Is his name Patrick? No. Nah. Oh, Richard. No, it's not Richard. Thomas Kenny. Oh, Thomas. It was our Thomas Tommy Kenny K. there. Tommy K. Yeah, Tommy K. And he was busy raising... Uh, sorry, they were all busy raising their three children. Oh, three? Yeah. Damn. Imagine having three kids. Though Nancy <laughs> was not formally a godmother to those children, so who oh, <laughs> even cares? And I bet none of them were called Nancy. Nah, nah. <laughs> so she, I reckon she'd be like... She'd be like, keep those kids quiet. When yeah. Visit. I don't want to hear from them. But when Nancy... Uh, her godchild comes yeah. over. She's just like, oh, come and sit on my yeah. knee. Oh, tell us a story, little Nance. Oh, who's the girl? Oh, did you? Did you need a nappy change? Well, let, let Nancy Wake do it for you. And all the other three kids are sitting in the corners. Yeah. It's just like she hates them. Yeah. <laughs> what, are the, what are the other three kids' names, do you reckon? Um, are they she or? knew them as not Nancy 1, not Nancy 2, and not Nancy 3, and that's all she needed to know. Fair enough. <laughs> uh and so, in a way, her life in Paris was a much tamer version of what it had been 10 years previously when she'd been there. Yeah. When it had all been party, party, Nancy yeah, well. Wake style. <laughs> um, ex- except that instead of working as a journalist, she was sorting out British visas and passports. Yeah. And instead of nightclubbing till all hours, <laughs> she was more likely to be dining till late with friends. So, still, Aww. you know, I mean, I mean she, t- she turned it down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of her friends had kids now, so that affects. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that yeah. changes things. That does. Um, but she was. It was fun. She says it was fun, sort of. <laughs> but she was still <laughs> far from content. Yeah. This was. Well, not- I mean, her husband just died. Yeah. Very next line. I missed Henri. <laughs> You're right. It's not I, the same. I know Nancy. I know Nancy. Yeah. I, I mean, you know. I, I know her whole life. <laughs> you are tapped in to the Nancy Wake story. She missed him. Yeah. And she couldn't I mean, recapture that, that joie de vivre, <laughs> that, that fun, that dinner parties didn't yeah. have that same spark with no. that Henri OG. I mean. You know, stumbling through with business <laughs> papers at the ready. Um, she missed Henri sometimes terribly. Yeah. And she hadn't really met anyone else. But in those situations, there's nothing you can do but keep going. And so that's what she did. So yeah. she's just like, she's on autopilot. Yeah, fair enough. That's what I get the the, 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 the vibe from Nancy yeah. during this period. She's got a job that doesn't really excite her. Yeah. She's passing her evenings in a toned down version of what she'd really want yeah. to be doing. This is like the start of like the second film. Yeah. Don't you reckon? Where it's like, oh, she's like really upset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she was... 
however, quite thrilled to receive a lot of recognition for her wartime endeavours. Oh, as she should. She was recognised by uh, Britain, France. <laughs> we were going to say the... Bilbo Baggins for some reason. She was. Bilbo Baggins <laughs> came through. He had some sort of ring in his pocket that he was not willing to share. Uh, but he did. He's like, are you Nancy Wake? <laughs> And she said, did you say Nancy Bake or Nancy Wake? And he's like, no, Nancy Wake. She's like, I am. She's like, I thought so. Anyway, and off he went on another adventure. Yeah, as he should. Um, but the medals bestowed on her soon made her one of the most decorated of all those who had fought in the Second World War. Yeah. Meanwhile... So the British, French and the United States governments bestowed these medals upon her. Meanwhile, the Australian government awarded her no honours. <laughs> Australia's <laughs> own Nancy Wake no, got not. shunned by Australia. <laughs> like, Go back to New Zealand. We don't want you. <laughs> yeah, we heard you claim to be Egyptian's own Nancy Wake. And that is enough to uh, put Egyptians. you in the bad books. You are in our, Australia's bad books. <laughs> Uh, so she got no, no honours on the simple reckoning that she had not fought for any of the Australian services. So they'd be like, who did you sign up with? Which was like, well, I was in the British special spy team. <laughs> yeah. I was in the French Kelly gangs. And they're like, we're not hearing, <laughs> we're not hearing Australia in any of these things. So uh, none of our medals are applicable to your wide-ranging the dog, the wartime dog, the endeavours. The dog act they just pulled. Um, so while they're giving her the cold shoulder, France awarded her the Croix de Guerre. As they should. With palm and bar, which, I mean, that's, that's high stakes. What did you say? She got the Croix de Guerre, oh, yeah. but not just a plain one. She got one with the palm and the bar. What does that mean? I don't know, mate, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you can understand. With the better. palm, she got a high five. She, she got a high five. And, and the bar was open. And the bar was open, like free drinks. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So while they yeah, so they awarded it to her. They gave her a high five. They said, "Drink what you like at the yeah, bar." Yeah, that's a high honor. Yeah, well done, France. Um, they also gave her the Croix de Guerre As with a star. <laughs> with a star. It's like when you write an essay and the teacher gives you a star sticker on it. Yeah, yeah. So she got the gold star. <laughs> yeah, and she also got the highly coveted Medal de Résistance. Yes, she did. Which was rarely awarded to the French themselves, uh, let alone to a foreigner. So if a French oh, person got this French like, honour, they'd be like, "That's amazing." Yeah. But for uh, someone who wasn't from even, a G, a G Egyptian, from someone from <laughs> Egyptian to get it, I said e G Egypt. <laughs> someone from a G Egypt. This is unheard of. <laughs> I reckon she appeared in the a G Egypt. Um, not in the news, or at least in the newspaper. A Egypt had never been so proud of one of their own as when Egyptians are Nancy and Wake. Australia were just like, who? <laughs> not applicable. And New Zealand was like, oh, I thought. I thought uh, you yeah, were what? born. Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but, and they also gave it, the French were just dishing it out. But, to be fair, a lot of her great works were in France. Yeah. Uh, she liberated. France yeah. with her endeavours, uh, so that's why they're just. How many it medals on do you reckon Max and Patch got? Uh, Hella medals. <laughs> the list is endless yeah. of how much Max and the Patch got. Uh, the final one that Nancy got from France was the Chevalier de Légion d'Honneur. Of course, it was. The Americans gave Nancy the Medal of Freedom. Yep, with a bronze palm. <laughs> they got the bronze, the like bronze high five. That's a new high five or bronze medal. Yeah. No, that just means there's three people in a row. Oh, yeah. You get the gold, the silver, and the bronze. And you get all all high fives. <laughs> uh, she only got up to the yeah, high five the bronze first and then yeah. the silver and then the gold, but she yeah. only got she only got to start. She didn't quite end the gold. High five. Okay. Fair enough. So she high fived the bronze and yeah. then the gold the silver and the gold person just turned their back on her. No, the silver like like dodged it, like it's dabbed on her. <laughs> <laughs> and the bronze was like, suddenly I can't see. <laughs> uh, so they awarded that saying, her <laughs> inspiring leadership, bravery and exemplary devotion to duty contributed materially Ooh. to the success of the war effort and merit um, the praise 
and merit the praise and recognition of the United States. Yep. So I feel like the Australia could have done at least that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, like you helped the war, <laughs> yeah, which in turn helped us, yeah. We we are, we recognise that, yeah, because she didn't fight for uh, the Australia Americans. was too, Australia was too busy having a war with emus, mate. Oh, that's true. <laughs> they had a lot going on. <laughs> it was the award from Britain that touched her most, oh. though. On the twenty first of April, nineteen forty eight, at a cocktail party, oh, of course, held at the British Embassy. Oh, I thought it was going to be held by Michelin. So this one had an open bar. Michelin was definitely there. Oh, for sure. Michelin was Nancy's plus one. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nancy Bake was there as well. It was attended by her nearest and dearest in the French capital. Yeah, well, that's Michelin. Yeah. Um, the British ambassador, Sir Oliver Harvey. Oh. Present- the Harvinator. <laughs> The Harvey Wallbanger <laughs> presented Nancy with Britain's highly coveted George Medal. <laughs> that is a very that is a that's just a low key name for a medal. Curious George, do you remember Curious George? It's the George Medal. It's the Curious George Medal. <laughs> yeah, for brave conduct in hazardous circumstances. Yeah, I mean that's true. None of the above, however, stilled the sense within her that she wanted much more from life than processing passport and visa applications. The disfatis- disfa- <laughs> the, the disfatisfaction. The disfatisfaction. The disfatisfaction. <laughs> the dis- uh, is clear in a small article which appeared in the British newspaper the day after Nancy was awarded the Curious George Medal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was quoted as saying, "Can you get me an ex- can you get me an exciting job? I'm so <laughs> bored." She was like, "I'll trade these medals for a job, please, please. Yeah, I'll do anything. <laughs> these medals mean nothing. Please, I'll give you these three kids." <laughs> Like, if it was, are you okay day, and you said, are you okay to Nancy, she would say, I am not okay. No, I need a job. I need something. I got all these medals. You know why? Because I'm, I'm awesome. I'm cool. I'm, I'm calm under pressure. I can yeah. lie the best of them. I'm brave. Uh, I, like, I need action. I'm dying here. And they're like, but are you okay? <laughs> Uh, well, look, I feel like she's at a real, she's at a problematic time, and that's that's all the time. I, I thought we we're going to breeze through this epilogue. Are you sure there's not w- w- one? There's probably one bit. <laughs> yeah. And the next paragraph, oh, everything turned out great, and she's amazing. <laughs> yeah. No, that is, no, nah, we've still got all a little right, bit to enough, go. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but look, I, I do like quite like delving into just yeah. past the happily ever after. <laughs> like you can free a country, but does yeah. that mean you're going to be happy? No. Well, no. I guess it might have been a different story if Henri OG had been around, but yeah. Who knows? We'll never know because he's not. Exactly. Because he gave his life to protect her. Like all husbands should. Yeah. Um, so, look, uh, we are, uh, we're we're going to delve even deeper into how Nancy rebuilds her life. Yeah, we are. Uh, post the action. Mm. Uh, when we come back. I'm feeling a little less stressed now. Yeah, because, I mean. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was very stressed. <laughs> It was a stressful time. Will Australia ever pull their finger? Never. Pull their finger out and recognise Never. the Nancy Wake Maybe. Um, h- hero that she is. We'll find out yeah, in the will. next or subsequent episodes of... <gasps> Yuck! Yuck! <laughs> I just broke my voice. Uh... Hit it with the harmony. That was a good dad. We should work on a harmony. Um, I can't, in fact, do... I, I, I'll, I can start. Yeah. Can I do low? And can I do low? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yogs a go. Uh, I just did the same <laughs> one. Damn it. We'll get it. Okay, ready? Ready? Yeah. Yogs a go. <laughs> you got to stand it. I need, more, I need more work. I need more. This will be the pinnacle of our career. Okay. Yogs a go. <laughs> I've got, got it now, I've got it. Do the same note. Yogsigo. Can you get it? It's too sad. Oh, okay. uh, Yogsigo. Uh, uh, oh, damn it. I've lost it. I can't do it without laughing for some reason. Wait, I'll go low. Okay. Yogsigo. Yogsigo. That Mate, was really bad. <laughs> Sorry, Yonky Doodlers. Yeah. Uh, we everyone, were, we were, everyone turned that off so fast. 
<laughs> They're like, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but that's all right. We've got what that means is we've got room for improvement. <laughs> yeah. So tune in when we come back for another harmonic episode of Young Sega. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> 